Hey, how is it going everyone? This is Kray and welcome back to another Summoner's War Siege Battle. It just started and we are up against GOAT and Insula at Ventum. <laughs> oh man, this is gonna be another rough one. So GOAT currently at rank 1 obviously because they are the strongest guild in Asia. In my personal opinion, Insula at Ventum at rank 13. So taking a look at GOAT's defense. Cannot run away from the Clara Monty and Asher's a full tower of that. They are Ophelia, Iris, and Manons. And for their tower 10, definitely the LDs, right? So we're seeing that very scary lineup coming out from Enel. Honestly speaking, I don't really know what to do because we fought that once and we got wrecked. <laughs> I, I feel like just avoiding it already. So on Insula Ventum side, Miang, Monty, and the Asher. So this one, a full tower of the Sierra, Nora, and Embers. And for their tower tents, do they have a full tower of Tianlangs? Very close though. So a couple of Tianlangs, Celia, and Kiki. We'll be able to start our first fight of the day up against the Miang, Monty, and Asher. I feel like bringing in my own Monty, Asher as well. And then we place Fuki as our win DPS because the Miang won't be hitting him. And we should be able to do a decent amount of damage if we can land the armor break into the Asher's Massacre. I think that is the plan if we do not die on the first turn, you know? <laughs> because they do have the speed leader. But they're so slow. Okay, Massacre. Very close to death, come on. Oh, nice violent proc. We needed that. Oh my god, that was so close. Yeah, but... Honestly speaking, right, Asher was so low on health, the Blade Slaughter couldn't kill. That's how trash Fuki is. <laughs> Considering that I do have a decent rune set on him, look at the damage, man. Barely tickling this Miang, and his armor broken as well. Jesus Christ, I really want to derune this. Don't feel like using him anymore. <laughs> okay, come on. Yo, we can't even kill, but once again, additional turn, we'll take it and left this single Monty alone. We'll just heal up, play it safe. Can we land armor break? Come on. Yeah, we got it. Into the massacre. This should do very good damage. We missed one crit, but it's already down to the last hit and Monty will finish it off. I saw one of my guildmates using the tractor Windy Lulu against this lineup and he actually won. So let's try it out ourselves, all right? So we do have 100% resistance on our Lulu, but yet again, Naftis don't really care about that. It's just to mainly um, neglect the Clara stun. So with all these debuffs, okay, we got the additional turn. I think we use the third skill, although I really want the two turns immunity, but we don't really have a choice. We'll go for the buff as well. Okay, looking good so far. We need to kill the Kaki first. Okay, nice stun. I'll slowly work on to him. Oh, additional turn. I don't like that. Okay, come on. No stun this time. That's not good. The Kaki quite low on health though. He actually triple stun. Yo, Lulu. Oh my god, he has the combo again. And the Neftis actually crits really hard. Ah, everybody down to the last hit, man. We lost. Yeah, Lulu is dead. We can't heal. Jesus. We're seeing a very interesting lineup consisting of Fire Bayek, and I am gonna use mine as well, together with Vladjo and Alia. So Alia can cleanse Vladjo as well. Triple heals in a way because Fire Bayek, third skill, can heal up. So we want to work on to the Liu Mei first, I think. Can we land the armor break? Oh man, that's not good. <laughs> um, he'll block, I guess. Oh, resistance as well. GG. Oh my god. Holy shit, that's a lot of damage. Fire bike might potentially die though. We need to heal up a little bit. That's not enough. Oh my god. Cutting too close. Uh, can we heal? One violet proc, please. We need one proc. Come on, fire by it. If not, you're dead. Oh, we got it. Okay, we heal for almost 19k. We landed the armor break as well. 
another additional turn, we managed to finish off the Liu Mei. So 3 turns from the opponent's fire bike. Uh, we are gonna cleanse. So with the defense buff, we should be quite tanky as well. Come on, can we silence? We got it. Armor break. Didn't get it, but now with a fourth skill, our fire bike back to safety zone. Oh, this was so close. I think from here we should win. Yeah, we're getting quite a lot of turns though. So we can see that fire bike healed up for 22k, which means the HP is actually very high. And it's on a crit damage build as well. Come on, silence. We got it. Vladrol, I need you to strip. Okay, we got it. Play it safe. Every time we got heal, we try to heal up. <laughs> oh, the destroy is kicking in onto my fire bike quite a lot, eh? We are only healing around 15k on the third skill. But finally, the opponent's fire bike goes down, left this single retash. And everything will be onto my Alia now, so which is very good. Our Villagro is free to go crazy. I feel like taking a very slight risk here by bringing in the Wusa, Gany, and Rika. So I just need to pray that the Tianlang don't stun us. The Nora don't provoke our team as well. And after that, we can lay out the dots and the reset and whatnot, right? So Gany is gonna be very important to lock down that Teomars. Okay, we can place the immunity up. We go for the heal as well. Okay, three turns for my Wusa though. Oh, Nora Derp! Okay, let's go! We can actually ventilate our Wusa. Yeah, I think we do that. And then we just lay out the dots. Oh, unfortunately we failed to land anything onto that Tumors. We are gonna place up the three turns immunity again. Okay, come on, come on. Can we land glancing? We got it as well. Whoa! Yo, our RNG quite good, eh? <laughs> we stunned the Nora too. And let's just continue on working on that Teomars. Three turns once again, and we landed the two turns sleep. I think this one, the game just wants us to win. <laughs> yeah, stunning the Nora again. Perfect! Yeah, this is the best RNG that I could ask for. So with all the dots intact, the Nora took so much damage. And just want to make sure that the Tianlang doesn't have the second skill. Now Mountain's power once again. Nora will die to the dot. Left this Tianlang all alone. With the two turns dot times three, it should definitely die. But we'll be facing the Ming Asher and the Monty once again. So we'll bring in our double Vagabonds and the Triana. So our Jubel will be likely tanking up all of the damage done coming out from the Asher. No good follow-ups onto our two win units, right? Because yet again, they don't really have armor breaks apart from the Monty. So we are always gonna be fully focusing onto the opponent's Monty first. We heal up and can we control him? Okay, we need to land the Provoke. Okay, we got it. Armor break landed as well. All right. This is good. The only downside is that I forgot to place destroy runes on one of our Vagabonds. But I don't think it matters that much. We just need our Triana to violent proc more to cleanse away that heal block. <laughs> okay, continue controlling it. I don't want him to use another destiny dice. So Jubel's passive is actually very good against the Asher. Oh, I think we cleanse the heal block away. The armor break, my Triana very tanky, so I'm not really afraid. Okay, we got the Provoke off, and I think this should kill, right? Yeah, with the armor break into the second hit. Now we work on to the Asher. Because the Miang isn't gonna be doing much. That's why I feel like, even though that unit has the 28% speed leader, it just doesn't do well on defense. Doesn't really help out the team that much. I mean, if you're comparing it with other units, right? So, now 3v1, we got the control off as well. We failed to land the armor break though. And the pushback. 
So that's not too good, but slowly but surely we should be able to win this unit because yet again, no damage output from this unit. <laughs> yeah, you can see he's just taking a beating here. We can always just heal up everybody back to almost full life. We got the armor break off into the big ass crits. I want to try out another lineup. So we'll be using Vigor as our healer, Logan as our DPS, and everything will be focusing onto the Diaz. Especially the Asher, right? Because yet again, like I said, they don't really have very good armor breaks. It's just like Monty random random armor break if he gets lucky with the rolls. So hopefully they don't touch my Logan. <laughs> it's so low on health. Okay, we can heal up. And let's land the Shred. Okay, 3 turns armor break. You can't shake off from that, right? Let's just use the third skill. Big damage. And let's just finish it off with the second skill. Alright, I think this one already in the back. Because, from what I'm seeing here, Miang, no damage whatsoever. Just 3k. Uh, they don't have any armor breaks already. And Asher will always be hitting our Diaz and he should be able to tank that no problem. So let's just use the push through. Big damage, man. Oh, perfect. <laughs> uh, Asher got deleted. And now we can just land the 3 times armor break once again. Logan, third skill is up, right? Okay, can we land the armor break? Nice. Push through. That's almost 42,000 damage. Look at that. Insane. We'll be bringing in our Nana, Josephine, and Chow against this lineup. So hopefully we can kill off the Kakano early on. Okay, I like this one. The Celia actually used the AoE, so we can go for the Provoke here. Here we got it. But Divine Wind comes. Oh, I don't like this though. With a hidden aim form, we can't really crit. And our Josephine took so much damage. Yo, I need to remove this lineup, man. <laughs> we keep losing with it. Oh, so close. Can we stun? Ah, yeah, I only got the stun onto the Louise. Okay, that's good. Hmm, invincibility comes strip. Yo, imagine, man. If we strip, then we get another stack because we could definitely kill it off. Ah, so lucky. I also ran a curiosity leader just for this part to land the strip. Come on, man. Yeah, that's why I don't really bother about a curiosity resistance. Doesn't work for me, man. Yeah, our tower is just gonna get destroyed. We'll be fighting Goats, Clara, Asher, and the Monty, and I just feel like taking a little bit of RNG here. I feel like we should be able to prevail. Nice, friend actually resisted the strip, which is very good. Armor Break landed onto friend, which is perfect. This Asher on like a speed HP HP build, is it? He didn't crit at all. No complaints. <laughs> Okay, six bombs landed. Goodbye, everyone. Pretty sure everything will die. It's around 70k damage. There's no way to sustain that. We'll be using our Sierra, Nora, and Gianna against this one because I feel like if we test use the third skill, we got the critical error to AoE stun them. And what I want to finish off first is definitely the Manon because I don't want to deal with the resistance if we fail to strip later on. Okay, we failed to land the Provoke onto the Manon though. Can we land one more bomb? Oh, this might bite us in the ass. Okay, I think we just exploded. Nice stun, we'll take it. However, Retash gets the heal off. So back to square one. I don't like this, we need to land bomb. Okay, this time we got it. I think we place one more just in case. <laughs> Okay, with the two bombs, I think this should secure the kill. And our Gianna will be able to follow up with the third skill soon. Yeah, let's just detonate everything. Very nice. Gianna got provoked, so that's not too cool. Now place a bomb here, go for the strip stun. Perfect. Good controls now. Retash is dead to the dots. And there's nothing the duck... Nora can do. What is it called? Maya, right? 
We're down to our last and final sword, and I am just gonna make it count. So we'll be bringing in the Jean, Leo, and Dinah over here, because yet again, Leo will be reducing the damage output coming up from the Savannah. Dinah should be able to go crazy onto the Liu Mei. But yeah, let's see here. Maybe we kill off the Savannah first. Okay, we failed to land the stun. So with all these armor breaks, we need to cleanse it. Okay, go for the Provoke. Two turns onto everyone, and let's just cleanse our Dyna. Just in case they go crazy with the Violent Procs. And we are just gonna go ahead and work on to the Savannah first, because I feel like she's quite squishy. Okay, nice stun. Next turn, my Dyna moves, I think the Savannah is definitely dead. Yeah, just gonna go for the Pew Pew once again. Let's go. Okay, one unit down. No stun. So this Chandra hasn't used the hug yet, but yet again, it's on the Provoke form. Okay, we can go crazy on to the Liu Mei this time. Last hit. I don't even bother changing back to the Pony form. <laughs> I think we are good here. There's nothing the Chandra can do. We have a lot of good damage, stuns, dots, and whatnot. It's already so low on health. And once again, we got 8 wins out of 10. The siege battle has finally ended and we got 231 crystals followed by 185 guild points. We'll head over to check out the map layout at the end of that fight. So Goat definitely winning this one followed by us as second and Insula at Ventum coming in third. Let's open up the rubbish box and see what we can get. Ah yeah, no shiny. <laughs> One wind scroll, three purple runes, which we are definitely gonna sell. Yeah, all the subs that's so bad. 50 crystals, we'll take it. Not the worst, but definitely not the best. So that's about it for this one. If you do enjoy this video, please make sure to hit the thumbs up button. And also, if you're new to the channel, consider subscribing as it helps out the channel a ton. Take care, stay safe, and I'll definitely catch you guys in the next. Peace out.